What is going on guys, today we are looking at team of the season moments, Lazaro, the 5 star 3 star, the guy who literally, the card before this was a 79 rated common gold, what a fantastic upgrade this has got, so he's had a 15 on his pace, 16 on the shooting, 8 on passing, 11 on dribbling, 18 on defending, and 16 on the physicals. Honestly, this is a wonderful, wonderful upgrade. He is, uh, well, well, to be honest, he's not really had anything. He is only 25 years old. He's been in the game since FIFA 14. He's had bronze, silver, 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 silver. Managed to get a gold in FIFA 19. Obviously, then he made, that was uh, for Herfer. He then went over to Inter Milan, then to Newcastle, and then, obviously, to uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach. So... In general, it looks fantastic. Obviously, we do have a lot of decent cards. I think it's Baku, I want to say, is the team of the season for the Bundesliga. And then, obviously, prior to that, we've had wan -Bissaka. We've had Cancelo. So, some really, really big names. I can't think who the La Liga right back was. And we've literally... Oh, Neves, of course. So, there is a huge amount of players. So, predominantly, these players are going to be either objective cards maybe your first team depending on what you're going for obviously some people may be running a Serie A team some people might be running a Bundesliga team it all depends on what team you're going for there is plenty of links there's actually I think there is quite a few good Austrians we will have a quick check as well Sabitzer, Alaba obviously um, we've got Hintinger g -g 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 -g, can't pronounce his name we have Lema as well so some really really good players and obviously with having the red Alaba it is a fantastic fantastic link for Lazaro and some of his stats then so we've gone with the Sentinel so if I just get back onto his card so I know exactly what's gone up so Sentinel turns him into a 92 rated right back he ends up with obviously the pace fantastic don't need any more on that composure is good agility balance is nice ball control passing wise is a bit average it's nothing too amazing but definitely I'd say at least just slightly above average defensively fantastic we end up with 99 on the awareness and intercept 93 on the stand with 92 on the slide we end up with 87 strength and 91 aggression so a big big upgrade and 85 jumping as well so I think this card genuinely could be quite nice. He's, what, 5'11", tallish to in terms of a right back. I'm expecting a bit from him, so let's jump into him and see what he can do. Lazaro, a high line is playing there. What can we find? Obviously, does have that five-star skills as well, which can always come in useful as we just dribble round. Ah, it's not quite enough to beat Davis. But it, again, it's just a nice little perk from him. It's not necessarily needed all the time, but it, it's just nice to have it at some point in the game. I think the big thing for me is the fact that we have got a lot of SPCs. And I think if you're utilizing your coins correctly, if you're doing the icon swaps, like practically the 84 times 20 paid for Tap Soba and Lazaro, I know you only have 20, but then you mix it with potential fodder you've got from La Liga upgrades constantly, more than likely you have some fodder left over. I'm interested just to see what he's like down the wing, honestly. He feels very, very agile. I know he has come from a right back role, which is always. It, it, depends. it goes one of two ways, in my opinion. In terms of a right back going right wing, sometimes it works really well. Sometimes it just doesn't translate. The defending is terrible, whereas Lazaro looks more of an intercepting player rather than someone who's going to go outright and tackle everybody. So we can see him already playing that really high line. So it's a potential that they are throwing you a five at the back situation here. Obviously, we could have Alaba, Tap Sober, then we could have one of the Bender brothers and Lazaro as the kind of right wing back with, I think, I think it's Angelion. I want to say or Angeli. I don't know how you pronounce the Spanish guy's name. You could have him as the left wing back, as obviously he is more of a kind of wing back more than a left back. So it's very interesting. And to be honest, Alfonso Davis will do an absolute unit of a job there as well. Let's see what we can go. Find one more. Let's go on the inside. Try and cut in. We've, we've ran too far there. Just see how quickly he gets back. Oh, he's, he's doing this stupid animation of worrying about what everybody else is doing down that pitch. Lazaro on that overlap. Like I say, in terms of kind of a right wing back, that's a poor pass. That's my pass, but that's a poor pass. In terms of kind of like right wing back style, he is going to be pushed up heavily when you do have that ball in the uh, in the final third as such. Tatsoba coming across. Doesn't. Lazaro, see what we can find with him down the wing. 
It's going to run past him. He's got wonderful pace on him. It's a cracking little run. Can we find the little dink inside into Renier, who's not going to manage to do it? We get the ball back with Witzel. Can we find him again? Ah, oh, no, that's not where I wanted it. So, I mean, he's already making that move, as you can see. Oh, what? I completely lost control of it. Does win it back. Going to go for the little chip across, and again, just missing out. Little one for Lazaro. Look at the run already. It's beautiful. Oh, does keep it as well. Dribbling-wise as well, he feels nice. Like, he feels like he's in control. Obviously, sometimes you are not going to get the right results that you want. But in general, like in terms of winning it back and what he can do on the pitch, I'm very, very happy with him. Lazaro, fine on the inside. Doesn't take the attack anywhere, unfortunately. We find it going again into Kostic. The movement of him is fantastic. But we're going to find Bailey inside here. He's trying to keep up. Doesn't manage to, and it is another goal. Lazaro stopping. Player of the month, Kostic, dead in his tracks. We see that ball down the wing. It has stopped, though. So at least he does necessarily stop if you are kind of like losing the attack. Lazaro, what's his kind of across the field ball like? Yeah, to be honest, it could do with a bit of work, but that's that's not a bad start. Doesn't go too far, and the power was kind of a little bit more guessed, if anything. We do get the ball in that wonderful area, though. Going to go with that finesse, but it is going to be blocked. And I can see him playing such a high line there. Like like I say, his tackling is very, very nice. And he, like I say, does feel in control of it. But that is very, very high up the pitch that maybe you don't want your players potentially kind of not necessarily risking it, but... Not in that defensive zone, especially when I've got stay back whilst attack on. So going into Lazaro's overall review. Like I said, if we do take a quick look at the generations, obviously with him, he's not really had the look in terms of specials. We got a man of the match way back in FIFA 17. We've got UCLs and that's literally about it. Whereas this year we've managed to get a team of the season moments for him. Absolutely phenomenal stuff. So in terms of the SBC, he is awarded this for... Uh, Lazaro celebrations, his amazing scorpion kick goal versus uh, for against Leverkusen. Oh, okay, against Leverkusen. So absolutely fantastic work from him there. You've only got an 83 and an 84 to do. One in form, 75 and 80 chem should be very, very simple to complete. Like I say, he's about 109, which is not bad in terms of kind of like right back and right wing backs in the Bundesliga. We obviously have um, big boy uh, Mukiele. We have Baku who looks fantastic um, and then obviously Bender was an SBC but I think Bender's used more as a centre-back same with Mukiele you can whack him more as a centre-back than anything but Lazaro and Baku definitely looking fantastic and we also do have Mbabu we have another version of Mukiele and then also we have Lamer as well so there is a few right backs but I think you definitely could slot him in if you've missed out on Mukiele if you've not done the SBC and Baku is literally coming in at no coins whatsoever so you could go with him, and I think he genuinely could be the best, if not the next best alternative right back in the Bundesliga. He does push up very high, so I would do, I would always be wary of that, that you definitely want to have him on a stay back whilst attack. Otherwise, he is literally almost box to box kind of like right back he is always there it's not a bad thing because he's, he's tackling and his interceptions it's absolutely on point he's very very quick at moving his agility definitely reads well from this card and i think that's kind of more of the right mid talking he is kind of a high rate a high winged player and before this obviously he was a right mid originally and he's had a fantastic upgrade like look at them stats a great upgrade from his common i know it is 79 to 90 so 11 ratings but that's the way you do an upgrade we can see a huge huge beast uh, boost in pretty much most of the stats are all like plus tens bar from maybe a bit of passing and i think genuinely this card is coming in quite cheap we have went a sentinel on him which 
does give him his defending and physical. Turn him into a 92 right back or 92 right wing back because we've already got the pace. Shooting wise, we don't necessarily need and it's relatively good for a right back. Uh, passing wise, could do with a bit of work, but I think the strength and obviously or well, the physical and the defending is definitely more important and his dribbling is absolutely fantastic as well. So if we did have a defending physical passing trait, then I think that potentially could be the one. I don't think we have anything. What is backbone? I, I'm not wary of too many of these these kind of ones. I suppose you do get one there, actually. That's not bad. You could go with that. I know you're missing out a lot on... What are you missing a lot? You're missing one defending. Potentially, backbone could be the way to go. You do get that long pass up. I know you don't necessarily get the short, but that's a possibility as well, to be honest with you. I feel like this guy could play in a lot of positions from right back, right wing back to right mid to even CDM with the right chemistry style. You definitely could put this person across the board. Overall wise, I'm going to give him a 9.4. I think he's a great player as it is, but then I think he's getting extra bonus points for me for being a cheap player. The five star skills, yes, no four star weak foot, but I think he genuinely has got a role in people's teams. So hopefully you did enjoy the video. Let me know down below if you're going to be completing Lazaro's overall, uh, player review. Player review? SBC. And make sure you like and subscribe. I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.